chance, grace, and spiritual blindness are the profound themes to be gleaned from a family's nightmarish road trip that is Flannery O'Connor's short story, A Good Man is Hard to Find. Chance is the occurrence of events that seem to have no obvious cause, but in A Good Man is Hard to Find, the events that lead to the family's demise do have causes. The grandmother and Bailey choose actions that eventually lead to their horrifying encounter with the misfit. Choices build upon previous choices until the situation proves impossible to escape. Bailey chooses to go to Florida, despite knowing the danger involved. The grandmother chooses to bring Pity Sing, despite knowing how Bailey doesn't approve of her bringing the cat, and chooses to push going to the plantation, although she knows the misfit may be in the area. Lastly, Bailey chooses to give in to the pressure from the children to go to the plantation, even when it involves traveling down the deserted dirt road. The fatal conclusion marked by the family's murders would never have happened if any one of these choices hadn't been made. But chance does play a part, however, for a person of faith, like the grandmother purports to be, who believes God has a plan. The family members cannot escape their fate, but the situation leads to a moment of grace for the grandmother. Grace is a God-given moment of clarity, or epiphany, that allows people to see themselves as they truly are and to guide them towards spiritual salvation. The grandmother views herself as righteous and deserving, but she's actually selfish and judgmental, a character in need of grace indeed. Determined to be seen as a lady, the grandmother dresses for the ride, so if there's an accident, the people who find her dead on the highway would know at once that she was a lady. This callous and shallow behavior is a continuation of her treatment of her family as she looks down on them and insults each one of them. She also lies and manipulates them. When each family member is taken away and killed and the grandmother is left alone with the misfit, she comes to see him as a person just like her, deserving of her care and concern. This genuine action is the grandmother's saving grace. She even dies with an innocent smile on her face. Spiritual blindness is another important theme. The misfit talks respectfully to the grandmother, apologizes for being improperly dressed, is uncomfortable when Bailey talks rudely to his mother, and is sensitive to the children's mother when she misses Bailey and John Wesley. When talking with the grandmother, he's introspective, considers his actions, and shows a depth of thought. The misfit seems to have a lot of positive traits, but he's a murderer who believes that there is no pleasure but meanness. He has good inside him, but is unable to perceive it, let alone make it central to his being. Yet his final words, it's no real pleasure in life, indicate that he is changing.